Welcome to our Haskell Deep Dive. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from the community. Is there a safe equivalent of maximum in Haskell's standard library? If you've ever tried to use the maximum function on an empty list, you know it can lead to an exception. So what are our options for safely finding the maximum value without running into errors? Let's explore this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In Haskell, the standard function maximum can throw an exception if called on an empty list. This can lead to runtime errors in your programs. To safely find the maximum value in a list, we can use a function that returns a maybe type. This way, we can handle the case of an empty list gracefully. Unfortunately, there isn't a built-in safe maximum function in the Haskell Standard Library. However, we can easily define our own. Now let's see how to use this function. If we call safe maximum with an empty list, it will return nothing. If we call it with a non-empty list, it will return just the maximum value. In summary, while Haskell's standard library does not provide a safe maximum function, we can easily create one using the maybe type to handle empty lists without exceptions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can create a safe maximum function in Haskell using FoldMap with a specific monoid. The option monoid allows for an empty element, returning nothing for an empty foldable. The max new type helps by picking the larger value. By combining these, you can achieve the desired behavior. For example, calling safe maximum with a string returns just the largest character, while an empty string returns nothing. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. you can create your own safe maximum function in Haskell. One approach is to define a function called maximum maybe that returns a maybe type. If you prefer a simpler version, you can define maximum maybe for lists directly, returning nothing for empty lists. For a more concise point-free style, you can also express maximum maybe using function composition. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.